So let's start out by going over an overview of the presses available in the Rock Print line. Now the Rock Print stands for S Rock's brand of presses. S Rock is a brand. They have Rock Print presses. They have Rock dry flash dryers. They have Rock tunnel conveyor dryers, and they have like Rock Flox, you know, special effects units, and all different types of sub brands under their major brand. So the Rock Print refers to the presses in their brand. Currently, they have three press offerings. Now they are adding a fourth coming in January 2013, and we're unveiling that at the Long Beach Trade Show. That's their entry-level press, which starts out at the beginning, which is an Amiga. Now, currently, the go-to press for somebody getting into an S-Rock would be a, a U. Now, the entry-level Amiga is going to be an all-air press with the exception of the Sturbo Indexer. So, the U, the Eco, the Oval presses right now, they run off AC print heads, so electric print heads, which are very fast, very consistent. To make the Amiga, because it's entry level, a little bit less expensive, they're putting air print heads in it. Other than that, it looks like a U. So when I look at all the features of the U, the Amiga will have very, very similar features and it will look exactly like a U press. But not available quite yet and an entry level press. Now, because they didn't make this press, we started selling a lot of these U's and they've been placed throughout the country. It was an awesome experience because before we just start people in the entry level because it's the cheapest, right? As you're starting, why not start in the cheapest place? But really, sometimes that's not the best way to think. So by not having that cheap option and by starting people out you know, right into the U-Press, um, AC print heads, servo index drive, very, very fast press, very larger print sizes, it gave us you know, a bigger world of possibilities as far as what we can offer our customers. So you have the Amiga starting out, then you have the U, then you have the Eco. The Eco is kind of the nice, big, uh, round press. Now they have the Oval, which can go bigger than the, the Eco, but the Eco is like the, the bad boy of the S-Rock press line as far as the, the round presses go. It's got individual print head control, like 30% faster print speeds, bigger print sizes, you know, different options you can add on to it, like you can put automated flock and automatic foil, which is huge here in the U.S., directly into that Eco press without having to take a print head off and stuff. So it's definitely an awesome press for a shop that is either really wanting to start on the right foot or already running screen print and really wants to expand their capacity, whether it be speed, print size, or special effects. Now the Oval is S-Rock's awesome like modular press, meaning that it can go from a six color all the way up to a 50 color. So that press is very expandable. It's great for water-based or plastisol printing, great for all over printing, cut sheet printing, shirt printing. It's a very, very uh, fast and efficient press because you can actually run it because it's an oval line, you can run it on both sides of the press. So you can have an operator on the front and an operator on the back running it off two dryers, basically having two print lines going down it. So the oval presses are attractive because it gives the screen printer a lot of different options versus just a round carousel press.